I found it! I finally found it! The best build in NBA 2K21 current gen. The build that can ISO at will. The build that can even take screens whenever. The build that can get Superman chase down animations whenever it wants. The build that can take it out of your hands like taking candy from a baby. The build that can jump into lanes and steal that ball in a blink of an eye. The build that can come down to the paint and out-rebound some of the best center builds in the game. And the build that can chase you down like it's Game 7 of the NBA Finals. The build that gets locked takeover that can do absolutely everything. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka HDF, and I am back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my new build that I found. Now, I took a lot of, a lot of days, a lot of hours to create and find this build. But now that I finally found it, I'm going to share it to you guys. This build reminds me of my perimeter lock in 2K20, if you guys remember that build. But if you guys are excited to watch some gameplay and learn how to create this build in today's video, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, 500k on the way. But anyways, look y'all, you guys remember my perimeter lock? Yes, the build that can shoot threes, max wingspan, defend well, drive to the paint, and speed boost. Oh my gosh, we went on a 100 game win streak with that build on the ones court. We used to dominate the twos in the stage. We used to dominate the park. We used to dominate everywhere with that build. And a lot of you guys loved that build for me. Well, today I found the closest thing to that in current gen. And I'm not going to lie, this is my favorite build I have yet. And I think it's the best build I have yet. So without further ado, we're going to get into some gameplay with this build. Trust me, you guys want to watch this gameplay? This is absolutely ridiculous what i'm about to show you in these clips and then we're going to show you guys the stats at 99 the build all that good stuff and then i'm going to show you exactly step by step how to create this build so if you do like this build make sure to drop a like in the video let's get to 10,000 likes on this video and let's hop straight into this banger man let's get it Okay, y'all, to start the video, I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay, whether it's defense, offense, one's court, two's court, screens, ISO, whatever it may be. Now, this build gets a high three-pointer, Hall of Fame shooting badges. It also can speed boost off rip. It gets park dunks. Uh, what else? It gets lock takeover, great defensive stats, and all that max wingspan. But look at this. Off the inbound, I'm using no interceptor, and I get a steal, and I'm inbounding the ball. No interceptor. This dude tries the back door, swat. Swat that shit to the to the next two score, bro. Look at how much of a struggle my on-ball defense is for some of these players, bro. I'm gonna be showing a bunch of defensive clips right here. As you can see, this dude ankle breaks me right. I'm coming down, trying to help. Look at that steal animation, bro. Then I get the easy lob. Look, let's put that in slow motion, bro. Look at that animation. No interceptor. I'm not using any interceptor. Backdoor again. Once again, that wasn't just a lucky block. I'm gonna get that block every time. No chase down artist right now. And that's big, big greens. Look at this dude's using screens. I tell my center to sit in the paint, and you're gonna see that a lot. I'm gonna play on the dude's hip a lot and get a lot of steals, right? Here we go. Same game. This dude bails out. I got locked Taylor. He's scared of it. Passes back out the center, passes right back. Easy steal. I'm running no interceptor once again. That's an easy lob again. Look at I'm playing the hip again. That's another steal. Center gets it back. Look at my look at me, bro. I'm too much. My defense is too much. We're not going to talk about how my center missed a wide open layup, but look at here again. This dude comes off a screen. Look at this rebounding. That's a blah 190 build that gets a very good vertical, and I'm out rebounding it. Same game. This dude ankle breaks me. I'm coming down to try to get the lob. Snatch animation. Bro, this is supposed to be a play shot, and I'm getting snatch animations out of the air, and that's not, only, that's not the only one that I got. And look at this. I'm way out of the play. Come right back in with no interceptor. No interceptor, y'all. Just an 86 steal. That's all it is. Once again, I'm playing this side. This dude, I get another steal. Now he's cold. Easy layup. Back to the 1v1 court. And yeah, sometimes I can just click X and just get a steal. <laughs> That's happened sometimes. Look at I miss wide open here. This kid's going to get the ball. He has a, on a 99 speed split play shot. Look at how easy I'm just clamping him, bro. He's not going anyway. I'm playing his hip. I got gold clamps on. And he got nothing. He got nowhere to go. Once again, I'm playing a little too high right here. He gets by me with that 99 speed. Swat. 
How many times do I gotta pin these dudes' layups to the block? Look at he's he's stunned. I'm just gonna shoot the wide open three. He doesn't even know what to think after that. Just look at this animation I'm getting, bro. No chase down artist, just rim protector. No chase down. Right here, I'm AFK, right? I'm gonna go down, get the lob, snatch. Yes, I get that animation consistently. Another snatch animation come around the screen. That's white. Okay, so I missed. The other dude gets the board. Look at that. Should have been a steal. We're not gonna talk about, it, but look at my look at my center. Now he's in the lane. Our my our defense just, bro. It's too much for people. People be throwing scaries. They don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna go to the offense, bro. This build can shoot. Look at what I'm shooting over him. He's right in front of me, and I'm shooting that. Look at I'm speed boosting off rip. This dude, I'm doing a little shaky. I don't know what I'm doing here, but that's another crab. Wide open, green. This The offense is too much on this build, bro. I can speed boost. I can shoot any shot. Look at this. He's right there. Green. That's Hall of Fame Deadeye for you, bro. Now, look at this. This dude's guarding me right here. I'm going to go. Uh, bro, I'm doing self alleys from the three-point line. Self alleys from the three. Oh, bop. Oh, my. Oh, he's jumping. Easy dunk. Can we replay that, bro? Bop. Bop. Bop, like, oh my god, the big greens, bro, is ridiculous in front of these dudes. Anyways, um, yeah, I can quick stop as well. As you can see, I'm on the ones court. This dude can't guard me. We bopping him left and right behind the back. Spin back. Oh my god, it's getting bad, bro. This build can also break ankles. As you can see, I can put dudes to the floor as well. This dude is lost right here. As you can see, I got lock take. Lock take is so good, bro. I don't know if y'all know that. Look at Bop. Oh my god, where is he going, baby? <laughs> Nah, it's looking too bad. Look at this. No takeover. 25% with no takeover. Look at this dude jumping at me. Does not matter. Green. And this is some more movement on the three. Like, bro, this is the threes. I'm, I got movement on the threes with randoms. Are we serious? Another clip on the ones. This dude's trying to reach. Oh, my God, dude. This build is too much. Look at I was on a 50-game win streak yesterday on this build. with the, On the one score. A 50-game. You know how much VC that is? That's like 250K VC. Anyways, back to the park we go. We're going to show some gameplay if y'all thought those clips were just whatever. So, first play, I get a lot. Second play, I just green wide open right. Now, we're just rep farming. I get, oh, my God, the crab of hell. That's green. We're rep farming, so I'm throwing lobs. We get another lob. Boom. Another lob right here. So, we're up 11 to 0. Boom. Another lob. 13 0. He leaves me wide open. Boom. 6 or 15 0. And he just can't guard me off the screen either. 17 0. Look at this, dude. We on the ISO with it. Behind the back. Quick stop. Green. Oh, my Lord. Another lob. That's 22 0. Here's another game right here. We're going to start with another lob. My center is going to take a dunk. I'm going to go over here. Easy quick stop midi. 6-0. And look at, look at me with these crab animations. He's right in my face. Does not matter. 9-0. I'm going to get the ball. Catch and shoot. 12-0. Another catch and shoot. 15-0. Probably be ending game so fast with this build. It is actually ridiculous. He can't guard me. Quick stop. Green. 18-0. This build is too much, y'all. It's too much. Ankle breaker. 21-0. What else do y'all need to see, bro? Now, before we get into how to create the build, let's look at the stats at 99 overall. This is the three-point playmaker build. I finally got it to 99. It has lock take. It is a shooting guard. Now, we're going to go over to the progression right here. Oh, my gosh. Look at how lit this build looks, bro. Look at the stats. 82 driving layup. 71 driving dunks. So, I get those dunk packages. I get the park dunks. I can get showtime for you. It's, oh, my God. This build at Legend? This build at Legend is going to be something else. Drop a like if I should hit Legend with this build. Anyways, you get an 87 three-pointer. If you were questioning that, just go rewind. Watch the gameplay. It's absolutely ridiculous. You can shoot just like a play shot. 84 mid-range. Don't worry about it. It's very good. 92 pass accuracy. If you really want to put bail out on something good, you can bail out of anything. Ball handle 87. I can speed boost off rip. Look at the defensive stats, bro. 74 rebound. You saw the clips. I was out rebounding blah builds. 86 steal. You saw the clips. I'm jumping lanes with no interceptor. I'm getting poke steals. I'm getting all kinds of steals. 80 lateral quickness. You saw the clips. I'm keeping up with the 6-2 guards. I'm keeping up with all those dudes. 80 perimeter defense. Y'all saw the contest. It was insane. 59 block. I was getting Superman animations. Once again, you guys saw the gameplay. If you didn't, rewind. 96 speed, 95 acceleration, 72 vertical, 48 strength, and 99 stamina. This build is a demigod, and it can do anything on the court. And it has max wingspan? Oh, my God. Let's look at the badge count. So, once again, 
I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create this build in a second. But here are the badges that I have. It's got 1, 22, 21, and 10. Uh, these are the badges I'm running. I'm running consistent finisher on bronze. The shooting badges. And I already know people are going to say this in the comments. And bro, I'm just going to be honest with you, bro. Hall of Fame Flexible Release is not the best shooting badge, but it is one of the best shooting badges. And if you're, if you had a friend tell you or you think in your mind that like, oh, Flexible Release lowers your green wind, I'm going to tell you right now you're wrong. It's just not true. I don't know who told you that, but they're wrong. That is not true. Now you can either try to fight that uh, take or you can just listen to me. Hall of Fame, Flexible Release in general has been proven by 2K Labs that it doesn't affect your green window. And trust me, I use it on Hall of Fame. All those clips I just showed you, it was on Hall of Fame. It does not affect my green window at all. It actually gives me a lot of whites, okay? And this increases the white window by a lot. I'm gonna put a screenshot on the screen of actually how much it increases my white window without touching my green window at all. So once again, that badge is ridiculous. Use it on all your builds if you can, I'm not gonna lie. Or you can keep not using it and listen to your friends that are saying that it lowers your room window when it really doesn't. Anyways, that's all I got to say about flexible release. I got bronze volume, bronze clutch. We got Hall of Fame green machine, Hall of Fame dead eye, Hall of Fame range, Hall of Fame hot zone hunter. I got all my hot zones. So that's a W as well. Then our playmaking badges. Now this is when I'm running with like a stretch. If I'm running with, you know, uh, inside, I'll put on these badges. If I'm running the ones core, I'll run these badges. But anyways, Hall of Fame ankle breaker, Hall of Fame anthills for days, Hall of Fame unpluckable, Hall of Fame quick first step. You know, Hall of Fame Dimer, Space Critter, Lob City Passer, Tight Handles, whatever it might be, depending on what I'm playing with and what court I'm playing on. These are the defensive badges I use on the twos court. We got Silver Rim, uh, Gold Pick Dodger, Silver Intimidator, and Gold Clamps. Now, on the ones, I will take Pick Dodger off. I'll put Rim on Gold. I'll put Chase Down on Bronze and Rebound Chaser on Bronze. And that's what I use on the ones court. But yeah, this build is dominant, okay? dominant i tell you now let's go ahead and show you guys exactly step by step how to create this build okay y'all we are finally in the build creator right here as you guys can see now if you guys skip to this part of the video trust me eventually go back and watch the gameplay that i showed in the beginning of the video because oh my god God, this build is a W and it'll definitely help you question anything I do in the build creator. So the first thing you want to do to make the best build in the game, yes, this build is by far my favorite build I have. If you if you're asking in the comments, this is better than your slasher, is it better than your slashing playmaker? Is it better than your play shot? It's more fun than all those builds, and I think it's better than all those builds in the ones and the twos court. But anyways. So position, you're going to want to go with shooting guard. Shooting guard gets the more, most badges. It gets the better stats. Trust me, I tried this uh, build in small four. I tried it in power four. I tried it in center. I tried it in point guard. I tried it in every position possible. Shooting guard is the best way to go. Jersey number doesn't really matter. Hand is doesn't really matter. I just prefer left. We're going to go ahead and continue. And now the pie chart. Okay. Now, when I try to make an ISO build, I tried all kinds of pie charts, bro. And what I learned is in this game, defense matters the most if you can get a build that can defend and have good wingspan because wingspan actually matters a lot in this game and speed boost and shoot the three ball well it'll be a good build you don't really need contact dunks you don't need hall of fame shooting and you really don't even need hall of fame defense to be honest so the pie chart we're going with is the best pie chart in the game this is like the red yellow pie chart in 2k20 based off how overpowered it is and that is the green yellow pie chart it's the play shot pie chart is it's just a normal pie chart right but we gonna make this pie chart seem like something different today anyways the physicals you're gonna want to go max speed so you can get that 96 speed at 99 overall and then this is how you're gonna upgrade the player line like i said bro i'm gonna go through and tell you why i do everything i do when it comes to upgrading this player now, the first thing you're going to want to do is max the driving dunk. Now, obviously, you want to be able to dunk the ball at a pretty high rate, the highest rate you can on this build. Then driving lamp, you're going to want to put it to a 78 just to save some attributes. It'll be an 82 driving layup at 99 overall. That's plenty good. Now, the shooting, you're going to want to max the three-pointer. You're going to want to max the free throw, then put the post fade up to a 65. And now when it comes to the mid-range, you could max the mid-range, right? Oh, yeah, we get a 23 shooting badges. But to save some attribute points, the actual best way to do this is not lowering the post fade. It's actually lowering the mid-range. So I'm going to lower my mid-range 
all the way to an 84. Now, you're probably wondering, oh my god, my mid range is too low. Trust me, bro, like, the amount of mid range shots you shoot in this game is so low to begin with. And plus, this is a plenty good mid range to shoot mid ranges, bro. Most of the time, I'm shooting three pointers or layups and dunks. You can, if you really want to, you can put it to a 90 if it's really that serious for you. But I'm going to put it to an 84. Anyways, the playmaking right here, max the pass accuracy, max the ball handle. Obviously, both for obvious reasons. We're going to get an extra playmaking badge by going 42 on the post phase. So we have one finishing, 22 shooting, and 21 playmaking. Now, the defense. Okay. Like I said, defense is very important in this game. Especially with how bad the defensive mechanics are. And I learned that the hard way, you know. My 6-2 play shot is a great build. The defense is assassinated. The 6-1 score machine, it's a great build, but the defense is horrific. Um, what else? The slasher, great build. Defense is terrible. Slashing playmaker is actually a really good build. Defense isn't too bad, but not as good as you like it. Um, so yeah, this build is going to be the opposite. The, the defense is going to be ridiculous. So we're maxing interior defense. We're maxing perimeter defense. We're maxing lateral quickness. We're maxing the steal, maxing the block, maxing the defense rebound, and maxing the offense rebound as much as we can now. There's really no point of like actually maxing, maxing the offense rebound. Like what would it go to? Let's see. A 54, like, ooh, boohoo. Like, it, it's not that big of a deal, right? So everything's going to be maxed except the offensive rebound's going to be a 46. That gives us 10 defensive badges, 21 playmaking, 21 shooting, and one finishing. Now, obviously, we won't have any finishing badges, so there's nothing to lower here. But if you lower anything on shooting, that's going to lower a shooting badge, right? If you lower anything on playmaking, that's going to lower a playmaking badge. And then when it comes to defense, if you lower any defense, it's going to put you to nine defensive badges. So that's how you know you made a really good build. All the badges are at max capacity. And trust me, if you're worried about the finishing, oh my God, bro. My dunk packages, they're too good, bro. They're too good. I never get blocked. My finishing is amazing, especially on the ones in the twos court. Trust me, you do not need finishing badges like that. The ratings are very good um, at 99 overall. And plus me, once, once I finish this build, I actually get a 70 plus driving dunk for the showtime dunks and etc. like that. Anyways, shooting 22 shooting badges is more than enough. 21 playmaking badges is more than enough. 10 defensive badges is actually very good. And these stats are going to be insane with the, with the defensive stats. Anyways, body shape. I went with compact. Really doesn't matter what you go with. But I went with compact. Height. Okay. Do not go 6'4". Please don't go 6'4". Please don't go 6'3". Please don't go 6'2". Please don't go anything lower than that. Please. You're just wasting your time, bro. And don't go 6'6". Six, six. This is going to lower your ball handle way too much. Go 6'5". It doesn't do anything to your player. It doesn't lower your ball handle. It doesn't actually lower any stats. It doesn't increase any stats. And you're going to be tall as hell. 6'5 is so tall in this game. The best centers in the game are 6'8". You know what I'm saying? They're 6'8". The, the, the blah build, it's 6'8". So you're only three inches taller than most centers. Or three inches shorter, my bad. Three inches shorter than most centers. So this is a really good height. You're going to be taller than basically every guard there is. So you're going to go 6'5". Weights, you're gonna want to get that max speed. So you see the speed to 88. We're just gonna keep going up. Oh, it lowers acceleration. Okay, so we're gonna go 178 on the weight. And then you're gonna go ahead and do that. Max the wingspan. I know, I know. But look, you saw from the gameplay, I was shooting insane. I can still speed boost. And look at now I get that 70 plus driving dunk at 99 because you add plus four to everything at 99 overall. And I don't want to hear that in the comments. Oh, this build's only good at 99. Bro, it's easy as hell to get 99 overall. You can literally play my career on pro. I got this build at 90 to 99 in like a week, bro. Just play my career. It's not that hard. The best builds in the game are going to be the best at 99 overall. Anyways, the defensive stats are ridiculous on this build. As you can see, I'm going to have an 86 steal, an 80 lateral, an 80 perimeter, 87 ball handle, 87 three-pointer, 80 or 71 driving dunk, and an 82 driving layup with a 74 rebound, 50 interior, 59 block, 51 offensive run. That is ridiculous, bro. And you add plus eight to the physicals with Jim Rat. Um, nine, you're bro, you're gonna have a 95 acceleration, a 96 speed, a 72 vert, and a 48 strength. Oh my gosh! And here are the takeovers. Now, sure, you can don't go sh shot critic take. Please don't go shot critic take. But sure, you can go sharp take. Hey, you want to have a little fun with it? Go play with take. But lock take. Oh my god, that makes this build so good, bro. Lock take. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show up a screenshot on the screen right now of what lock take gives uh, plus to the attributes when it's in takeover. It actually gives the most plus 10 attributes out of any takeover in the game. 
which is kind of crazy to think about you know what i'm saying so anyways we're gonna go with lock take and that is going to give us the three-point playmaker build name i don't know what the build names are this year i don't know why this is called a three-point playmaker really doesn't I, I don't know i don't know why i, I don't know um uh, but that's what it's called that's the name it gives us but yeah this is the best build in the game and if you're confused on why i think that rewind and watch the gameplay because this build is ridiculous hopefully you guys enjoyed this build video man if you guys did make sure to drop a like on the video right now comment down below what you think i'm gonna be streaming every day on this build so a lot of people that do make build videos they'll kind of just cut and show clips and kind of make the build look not or better way better than it is trust me i'll be streaming on this build you can see it live in action so make sure to turn on notifications to see when i go live subscribe to the channel if you guys are new 500k on the way Anyways, I'm absolutely in love with this build. Hopefully, you guys learned something from today. But hopefully, hey, if you guys were looking for a new build, you found it here. But anyways, it's been your boy Henry, aka Double and I'm out, y'all. I ain't never Ooh. had no friends. I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone. She left me on my own. They say all girls are the same. Probably they're my dog. She said, Can you stay with me? Now I got a girl. Diamond dripping off my neck. It's wet. I'm about to flex up on my.